Hi, this is Sean with AppliancePair.com. Today we're going to talk about how to test the misters on GE electronic refrigerators made after 2002. These refrigerators use the misters to monitor temperature throughout the refrigerator. A thermistor is simply a variable resistor that varies resistance with temperature. The main board monitors the resistance of the thermistor and makes decisions such as when to turn on and off the compressor, when to cut off the defrost cycle, when to turn on and off the fans, and when to open and close the damper. An inaccurate thermistor will cause the main board to make incorrect decisions. It may not defrost properly. The fans may not be on when they should be on. The compressor may not be running when it should be running. Or the air damper may be closed when it should be open. To test the accuracy of a thermistor, place the thermistor in a cup of ice with a small amount of water for at least five minutes. Then test ohms across the thermistor and you should get 16.3 K ohms or 16,300 ohms. Note that readings are plus or minus 5%. Now I'm going to show you how to test the thermistor without removing it from the refrigerator. First, locate the thermistor that you will be testing. Then, place the cup of ice water on a shelf close to the thermistor and place the thermistor down in a cup of ice water. Wait at least five minutes before testing. Now, unplug the refrigerator and locate the main board on the back of the refrigerator. Locate the connector on the main board marked J1 and unplug it. First, we're going to talk about the evaporator thermistor. This thermistor is the thermistor that tells the board it's time to cut the defrost cycle off. If it is bad, your coils may look like this. If your coils look like that, note that there is no need to place the thermistor in a cup of ice water. It's already covered in ice, so it should already be 16.3 K ohms. Now you are ready for testing on the main board. Set your meter to read 16,000 ohms. I've set mine on 20 K. Now, on the J1 plug that we already disconnected, place your black lead in the fifth wire and your red lead on the fourth wire. You should get 16.3 K ohms, plus or minus 5%. Now let's talk about the rest of the thermistors. There will be a freezer thermistor at the bottom of the freezer and one or two fresh food thermistors. All three of these thermistors 
play a role in the decisions the maid more makes that we discussed earlier. If one of these thermistors is bad, the refrigerator may not cool properly or it may get too cold. Now let's talk about how to test these thermistors. Place each one in a cup of ice water, but do not cut it out of the refrigerator. Place the cup of ice water on a shelf near the thermistor and place the thermistor down in the cup of ice. Wait five minutes and test the thermistor. Now, on the J1 connector that we already unplugged, place your black lead in the fifth pin and leave it there throughout this test. Place your red lead in the third pin for the freezer thermistor, in the second pin for a fresh food thermistor, and in the first pin for a fresh food thermistor. You should get 16.3 K ohms if you have placed the thermistor in a cup of ice water as previously mentioned. If any other thermistors are off by more than 5% plus or minus, replace the thermistor. If not, you have a different problem. You may want to check out some of my other pages on GE Refrigerator Repair. Now I'm going to show you how to properly install a thermistor. First, when cutting out the old thermistor, be sure to leave enough wires so that con the connection can be made. Strip the wires on both the refrigerator and the new thermistor. Now, twist the wires together and take a bell connector, fill it with silicon. This is RTV silicon. This to ensure that no moisture can get to the connection. Now, using the proper tool, squeeze the connector onto the wire. Now you have a nice, good connection that is sealed properly.